Hello everyone. I wanted to do a really short video today about column level security. Currently we're calling this column level security, but those of you that may have backgrounds in uh, data management may be more familiar with it as field level security. They both mean the same thing. It means I'm going to have a certain security for this column and the values that will be shown to the users for this column, which is different than the security for the entire record, which might be controlled by security roles in your environment. So I just want to show you quickly the two things you have to remember when you're thinking about column level security. So I'm going to bounce over to my demo tenant real quick here. And you can see that I am here in um, a demo environment in Adele's uh, personal environment. And I'm looking at the data for the account table. So this applies to any column and any table. I'm just using the account table to explain this. Okay. So I'd like you to notice that there's an annual revenue column here. And let's suppose we don't want anyone except sales to see the annual rev revenue column. So basically, we're saying only salespeople can see annual revenue. At that point, we need to let uh, Dataverse know that this column is special and uh, we want to enable column level security. So I'm going to edit the column. I am in the grid right now, so I can use this command. Or I've, if I'm in the columns interface, I can also um, find the column there. Either way, I need to go to edit that column. Once I edit the column, I go to the advanced options. And here's the important checkbox. It's right down here. Notice it says enable column security. All right. This is what I'm talking about. Now, here's the important thing that happens. So right now, with that unchecked, this column is part of the record for accounts. So the records are controlled by ownership and security roles. But I'm actually saying, OK, never mind the record control. This particular column is special. And so when I click this, the moment that I press Save, that column is now invisible to everyone. They'll see the header and they might see some asterisks if they see it in a view. They'll see a little set of asterisks if they spot it on a view or a form, but they will never see the values, right? So right now, this column, as soon as I press save, nobody but me can see it. Now, who am I? I'm the system administrator uh, in this environment, all right? So I have just blocked the annual revenue values out. Nobody can see them. All right. So we're going to just wait for that saving to complete. But now we need to give access. So first we take away access from everyone by enabling the column level security. But then we go and we grant access. And so we're going to do that by starting in the admin center. Notice that I am in Adele Vance's environment. So I can go into the admin center here and click on environments to see all of my environments. But now I want to go into the uh, settings of Adele's Vance's environment. So uh, this is something that you do on an environment level. All right. So I'm going to set the settings. Now, what's happening here? Um, is I need to give what's called a column policy. So I'm going to open up user and permissions and you'll see all the familiar stuff like security roles and teams and users. But I'm going to click on column security profiles. This is where you grant permission to that column's value. Right now, nobody has it. And if I click on this, you're going to see that right now there are two policies in here. There's a policy for the sales team and then there's another policy that's built in. But I can add other policies just by clicking uh, new profile and calling it marketing, right? 
marketing team. And so these policies will reflect um, column level permissions. Okay. So I'm just going to put them just, you can see that I have now I have two, right? Mark, well, I have two that are created by me and one that was created by Dataverse. So now I'm going to set up the sales team. All right. So I'm going to uh, edit by clicking on sales team. And then what you're going to notice now, I didn't have to name this policy after a team, by the way. I could have named it um, uh, human resources policy or I could have named it uh, uh, customer feedback policy. Um, I could have named it anything I wanted. So it's not like it has to be associated. The name of it has to be associated with any particular role. That's just the easy way I do it. But here's what's important. Once you open the new policy that you make, um, naming it whatever you think is convenient for you to remember why you created this policy, um, you'll see every single column that is in that environment's database that has been flagged for enabling column level security. So notice the one that I just did just now is revenue. Okay, revenue is the internal name of the account revenue. And you can see that if I go back to the columns of the table, you can see that the internal name or the, the uh, logical name, I think Dataverse calls it, is revenue. All right. And so that column is shown here. And notice that by default, right, just because I turned that on, nobody's allowed to do anything in there. Read is not allowed, update is not allowed, create is not allowed. So let's say I have my sales team has access to all of the accounts in my database. The only thing that they don't have right now is the annual revenue values. And maybe that's on purpose, right? Now notice that um, I have done this demo before um, and some of these other columns do have some things allowed, right? So in your single policy that's why I say you don't have to name it after a team you can name it whatever you want whatever you think is the best way to collect these these um, requirements but at this point everything in here is saying what these people are allowed to see so this policy is for these teams and these users and here's where now it matters whether you use the team name or not so if I go into teams here Notice that the only team in this policy right now are program managers. And this was a team that I created. Now, do I have a sales team? I don't think I do, actually. Let's get the, en the engineers. I know I have an engineer team. So this is the resident engineers, um, right? So I can add them to this policy, right? So whoever I add, whether they be teams, which I can just add teams, or I can click on users and specifically add people, like one at a time, right? If I have an environment SG, I'll see those names here. Otherwise, I'll see my company users, and I can just go ahead and look them up, right? So I think I have an Alan, right? So I could specifically say, even though Alan is not in the teams in this policy, he is a user I'm allowing to uh, live by this policy, all right? And so now those teams and those users actually live by all of these, right? But we're going to focus on revenue right now. So in your policies, you will always have all of the columns that are flagged, but you don't have to change all of them. Like you can leave them. Like in this case, I'm going to leave it not allowed, not allowed, not allowed for this lead rating, right? But for revenue, I do want to let the sales team do two things. One, uh, create and uh, update. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to let them do all three and read. And so here's where you can see that you have a choice of what they can do. So I'm going to let sales do, um, let's let, let them not update. In other words, so they could create it, but they can't update it. Because you know why I'm doing that is because in my fictitious scenario, my uh, Power Automate is updating that revenue column on some frequency that's handled through automation. So I don't need people updating it. But when they create the lead, they may want to put that revenue in there. And we might even make a required fields. 
So we want to make sure they're allowed to, 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 um, update that data as well as create it. Um, and so you can see, you can decide, do I want them to just read it or do I want them to be able to do everything? And it's totally up to you, the combination that you choose here, depending on the column. Just remember that this combination that you choose here applies to every one that exists in this policy, whatever you name this policy. So these teams all have the same policy and these users all have the same policy. So if you'd like to mix and mix and match and have some of sales be able to do things that other can't do, then make a different policy. And then in that different policy, you can set up different rules. All right. So this is it. That's all I really want to show you. When you want to do column level security, you have to remember to do two things. Well, maybe three because you've got to notify your users. One, you flag the column that it's, it needs to be enabled for security level permission to set up a policy that will uh, include that column and then decide which teams and which users will be able to see the values. Uh, make sure you've set up your teams in advance, of course, so that uh, you're not doing this here dynamically. Because when you hit, de uh, you can search for, but you can't really, uh, you can't create a new one. So do your teams first. I hope this is helpful and enables you to use this high value because I'm telling you, I really love the fact that Dataverse lets me control column security. It helps me with internal notes as well, like notes. I don't want everybody to see those maybe confidential notes. I can enable that. Any uh, personally identifiable data, I might also set up a policy to make sure nobody can see that as well. So keep these things in mind. Happy power apping. I'll be talking to you soon.